Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner. I want to thank you guys for joining me today on this uh, first installment of the Zenith 750. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to get done today. Okay guys, so welcome back to Joe's RC Corner. I know today this video is not going to be very much of an RC video as much as uh, my previous ones. Still aviation oriented, so I hope you guys uh, are going to be following me along on this epic build uh, that I've been wanting to do my whole life. And uh, okay guys, so uh, like I said, what we're going to start with on this build is uh, we, uh, I want to go over some of the tools uh, that you're going to need to build a um, all-metal aircraft. Uh, now, keep in mind, I'm new to this. I've never built a full-size airplane again. However, I have built many RC airplanes out of wood, but uh, this is a new process for me, and I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of feedback from you guys down in the comment area if I'm doing anything wrong uh, along the way. Uh, but, uh, so, what, what we have... Um, this right here is the main spar of the rudder, and uh, I've already gone through it with a uh, with a drill and deburred all of the holes. the The lines on the outside, I, I'm not feeling any burrs on this. This is nice and smooth around the edges, so I'm not going to go too too much with it. But I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to find spots that if there is a little bit, like I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but there's a little bit of a burr right there, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean that up with a file. I don't have a deburring tool yet. Uh, I am gonna order one, because when I start getting to the larger parts of the aircraft, uh, having one of those nice deburring tools uh, to just go over the whole edge, gonna make things a lot easier, make things go a lot quicker. But, let's go through some of the stuff in the toolbox. So, one of the main tools that you're gonna be needing um, to do all of this work is a uh, what's called a Clico pliers. And what that does is we have these, these things called Clicos. Now, a Clico is basically a temporary rivet, as I like to call it. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but more or less a temporary rivet. So as you're piecing them together, there are different size uh, Clicos, and what you do is you slide it in, you squeeze it, and then if it's the right size for the hole, it'll hold that part along with another piece of metal together. So we're gonna have to go through the book and find the correct ones for the correct parts, uh, but that's one of the main tools that you're gonna be using here in the beginning as you're moving along. Some other cool uh, tools that you're gonna need is uh, aviation uh, sheet metal shears uh, to trim up any pieces of aluminum. Uh, so this is one of those valuable tools. Uh, I bought a set that has a left, a right, and a straight. Files. You're going to need a lot of files. I got some little files here for the small, tiny parts. And then I also have some bigger files as well. Let's get this top section now out of the way. So this is for setting up your drills holes for uh, spacing out your rivets on a particular part. So right here I can now get this to set up to where every one of those holes is spaced out properly. So that's a nice tool that comes in handy. Uh, this here is a hand riveter. Um, I'm going to use, I bought from uh, Aircraft Spruce, Spruce a uh, Zenith, uh, a Zen Air uh, riveter gun, uh, runs on air, I have an air tank compressor over there, and uh, this set was very specific because it comes with the correct uh, tips up here uh, that will allow to uh, bend the head of the rivet specifically to make a low profile 
uh, dome. So, and there's a couple different size heads and they are interchangeable. So that'll come in handy. We have files, various types of files. And as I mentioned, you got your uh, left, right, and center on your shears. I also do have a couple of torque wrenches that you're going to need. Another set of Clico pliers. I do have a, uh, a rivet gun that's specifically designed for solid rivets. However, this aircraft is not going to require uh, many of those, so uh, you don't really need to buy one. However, I have one, and if I need it, I'll be able to use it. And I'm going to go ahead and do this part on time lapse, get all these deburred, and then we'll come back for the next steps. This is what we've gotten done so far here on the uh, the Zenith uh, cruiser build. I have it all clicked together just to get a rough idea of how this all goes together. Uh, this is my first build, as I've mentioned, uh, for a large, for full size airplane. So it, uh, I want to take my time. Uh, I wanted to make sure everything fit. And uh, kudos to Zenith, man, these mashed holes are freaking perfect. Um, uh, and no lie, I mean, it just pieced together just like that. Uh, and, and I really hope the rest of the build goes the same way. Um, so here's kind of the plan for this build. They're going to be spaced out uh, over time. Next week, I'm hoping to be able to go back onto the Lanier build with David a little bit and try to get some of that uh, taken care of and get that built. Uh, it's going to be a long process for that build as well. We're almost uh, ready to uh, start um, adding in some of the reinforcements in the front section uh, so that we can add the fuel tank, battery, ignition module, things like that into that plane. So that's a quick update on that. Um, the Zenith build, what we'll do next after this portion of it is uh, once we get this built and set aside, I'm going to go ahead and be putting in the order for the Zenith uh, 750 Cruiser uh, tail section, which is the elevator and horizontal stabilizer and also the uh, full book of plans and uh, instructions for the entire build of the aircraft. Once we have that section completed as well, we'll move on to the fuselage and then the wings. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of portions of the build. This part of it goes by pretty darn quick. It's not a huge uh, undertaking to do the rudder. So if you guys have ever been wanting to look into building your own airplane, check out Zenith aircraft, check out the, uh, the cruiser, there's a lot of other guys uh, out there on YouTube. Um, Kit Plane Enthusiast is a guy that I've been following uh, since the beginning of his uh, Zenith Cruiser. I'll put the link down in the, in the description uh, for his channel. He has a beautiful Zenith Cruiser. Uh, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, guys, and he did a wonderful job. And uh, I've been watching his channel to learn 
uh, from his mistakes and also from his triumphs in, in regards to the build. And uh, I am looking forward to uh, getting mine built and uh, and painted and so on. So it's going to be a long process. This is my first time doing this. And uh, anybody out there that has any great suggestions or tips, uh, go ahead down below, guys, and uh, make sure you hit those uh, comments down there. Uh, I, I, I do read most of them. I try to read all of them. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, you know, I have a full-time job, so it does make it a little difficult to read every one of them. But I do try to go back uh, over time, and I do check up on them and make sure I put in uh, comments uh, back if you guys had a question. Um, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, basically, just click code together, and we are going to move on to the next steps next week once I have my new drill bits and to be able to drill out those parts. So hit that subscribe button guys. Don't forget, hit the bell so you get the notifications for the next video popping up for this build if you're interested in it. And make sure you visit my Teespring store. I'm gonna be baking up some new t-shirts. Uh, so they, make sure you check them out. Uh, it's gonna be uh, oriented around the Zenith build. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification, hit the like button, comment down below, and keep building and keep flying, guys. I'll see you next time. All right, bye now.